Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at astampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I know that it was kind of rainy here in Menasha, but I was in northern Wisconsin hunting. So I got back early today. We had an early day, got out of the woods by, gosh, I don't know, about 11 maybe. So that was kind of cool. Much different than the last time I was up there where I came racing home and had to go jump in the shower and was a little bit late for you guys. Thank you guys so much for being so understanding. I love that. Hi, Sarah, Melanie, Wendy, Sue, welcome. So, um, yeah, we got some bears. Um, we got two bears in two days and both of the hunters were youth, a girl and a boy. So that was really exciting. I love to see our youth coming up and um, turning into great hunters. And so we had a really good time. The crew that we hunt with up north is just some of my most favorite people in the world. Um, I know they have my back on everything. They are genuine and real and good down to earth people. And we ate some amazing food. Oh my gosh, everything. Almost everything is homemade that's made up there, so that's pretty nice. Not that my husband doesn't make homemade, don't get me wrong, he does. Um, but you get so many different varieties because so many different people are bringing food, so that's really cool. Hi Vicki, Claudia, Kathy, Jenny, welcome. Yes, please feel free to share this video, that really does help me out, and I always appreciate the shares, and it's one of the uh, uh, ways that you can win, so woohoo! Um, <clears throat> What's happening? So, we still have our buy three, get one free promotion going on. And I'm just gonna pull this up here a little closer so maybe you can see it. You can always um, go back and look at it later. But this is about the only time of the year that Stampin' Up! lets us buy three packs of designer paper and get one free. And of course, there are some beautiful ones on here. So with that promotion going on, I thought, hey, I'm going to show you guys how to make a bag very similar to this with a hanging card. So that's super fun, right? And it's a great way to use up this paper. And I'll talk to you about how many bags you can get out of an entire pack of designer series paper and um, show you how to make the card that hangs right on the front. It's really a great gift idea. Hi, Janet, Angie, Lisa, Karen, welcome. I'm just seeing some of the names pop in. Francie's here. So I also wanted to let you know the um, bow jigs that my friend, oh, I don't know if I have one up here. Uh, we're we're going to be using one a little bit later, but the bow jigs that my friend Denise makes are no longer available until she comes back from Arizona. So she's leaving shortly and they don't have time to make any more. So if you watch one of my older videos and I talk about Denise, you're going to have to wait till next spring or you can always make your own. Um, when you see those. So I just wanted to let you know about that. And what else? Next weekend, I am not hunting. Um, we have a wedding to go to, so that'll be a lot of fun, but it's also going to give me a chance to stay home and breathe. <laughs> Being gone every weekend is like crazy, right? Um, and especially like Friday, I released an online class again with the gather or come to gather suite. So I wanted to clarify a little bit. Sometimes getting the wording down so that it makes sense to everyone is a little bit tricky. So the class that I released on Friday is the normal class that I usually do my online class every month. Uh, last month, what we had the Dino Days class. Um, this month we did the gather together, or come to gather suite. Um, but I also did that in a new format earlier in the month. That That's no longer available. I had to shut that down because I sold out with a ton of kits that come with the product. That's going to be a whole new thing for me, and I'm doing that in collaboration with Ashley Pfeiffer out of Canada. So we're calling that our Creativity Without Borders um, kit to go. And you're gonna be seeing a new one coming next month from us for that also. Um, the, the confusion came in where Ashley and I did the Come Together online kit class, and then I do another collaboration with Dina Barb and I, 
and we also had chosen the come together. So next month it's going to be different. Dina Barb and I are doing a different online class and Ashley and I are doing a different online class. So you're going to get more variety coming from me and it was very evident that you guys loved this kit class option. So I'm excited to tell you that all of my product came in. Um, it actually arrived on Friday, but I had already left to be gone for the weekend. So I am going to start working on that tomorrow morning. And I have a whole ton of kits and a gazillion pieces of cardstock to cut to get that ready to go out in the mail. I am hoping to get it out on Tuesday. Hi, Brody. <laughs> Hi, Elaine. Luann, welcome. So... Um, I've got that going on and now starts, I'm done bear hunting for the year, now I start with bow hunting for deer. So while we're going to be home ne this next weekend, then I'll be gone lots of weekends for that. And I booked a trip with my mom to Kansas City. Well, we're going to fly from Minneapolis to Kansas City and then we're going to go visit my aunt in Girard, Kansas and we're also going to go visit my old hometown because I lived in Belton, Missouri, which is just south of Kansas City for about, till I was about 11 years old. Not about, I was 11 years old when we moved back to Wisconsin. So I'm super excited to be able to go back to that town. I've got so many fond memories there and we have booked the tickets so we're really going. And that's gonna happen um, in a couple weeks here in October. And hi Haley, Haley went up north with me. Haley's my daughter, she just popped on. She went up north um, with us bear hunting this weekend. She was able to get away. Her teaching, being a teacher now, has her really busy on the weekends as well as, you know, during the week. So, yes, Suzette, we actually, our group got two bears. I actually do not have a tag. Um, I was hoping I would be up for a tag next year, but my, my bear hunting friends are telling me, no, it's taking nine to ten years to get a tag. So... That's really crazy. Hi, Ashley. Ashley's on here. She is my partner in crime for my Creativity Without Borders kit class to go. So if you guys don't know Ashley, if you're in Canada, um, this is a way for you to be able to order a kit. And it's the same. Ashley and I are offering the same kit. So that's pretty cool. This helps out my Canadian um, followers too. So, um, Sandra said she wants to order the kit uh, with option number two. And you guys, I have to tell you that I did see I have a ton of emails. I have a bunch of text messages. I have a bunch of private messages on Facebook. I have not been able to get to any of them. I got myself home today. I was exhausted. I took a short nap and then showered and came in here and had to get some more stuff done for our... Um, Facebook Live tonight, so I have not had any time to answer any emails, but please know that I know they're there and I will get to them as soon as I can. And that's one of the little things about being gone over the weekend that everything kind of stacks up. Lots of times that I can go um, online periodically throughout my time, but where I am up north in our bear camp, I have no internet. It's like so spotty. And somebody said, what does that mean, get a tag? Well, um, the Wisconsin Bear Hunting works on a lottery system. So you can't just go and buy a license and go get a bear. You have to be put into a lottery. And it takes, what they're telling me now is nine to 10 years where we hunt to be able to get a tag to get a bear. So that's what that means. Um, I'm gonna bring up the Facebook Live here. Oh, I should have unpinned this one so people can find it. So hang on, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to bring up my Facebook Live so I can see your comments. Thank you guys. I know Luann, the Packers won. We listened to them on the radio. Well, I did while Haley slept all the way home. <laughs> she was sleeping so soundly. It was so funny. Um, but yes, I did listen to the Packer game on the radio. And then I was able to catch the last bit of it when I got home. So that was cool. Okay, so I've got you guys up on the screen. And what else? I think that's all of the announcements that I had to make. The buy three, get one free is still going on. Take advantage of that. I know that we all have a lot of designer series paper, but who has too much designer series paper? Nobody. <laughs> yeah, nobody does. Um, Diana, if I'm going in and out of focus, I'm watching myself on my screen right over here. And that is 
also going in and out of focus. I was going to say it's fine, but it's going in and out of focus too. It's just the nature of Facebook Live. There's nothing I can do about it. Hi, Sandy. My Aunt Sandy just popped on here and I saw my Aunt Janet pop in. Um, Facebook Live is what it is. Sometimes the streaming isn't working really great. We've had storms. It's very cloudy out here today or tonight. Um, we've had rain on and off all day. And that's why when I'm done with my Facebook Live, I take photographs of all of my projects and I put them on my blog. And you'll be able to see that address shortly. So you can always go to the blog and see a still, beautiful, crisp, clear photo of all the projects. And then I put the dimensions and stuff on there in a shopping list where you can click on something and go right to my store. And Sandy said that the Brewers won too. So yay, Brewers! Wisconsin is winning today. And the Badgers won too, didn't they? Pretty sure the Badgers won yesterday. So it's a win-win in Wisconsin. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Barbara, says she loves my blouse. This is a very old shirt. This is actually a t-shirt with these pretty little chiffon flowers on it. And um, I've had this for years, and I can wear it again because I got too fat to wear it. <laughs> and now that I've lost some weight, I can wear it, and I love it. So thank you so much. I know I have a hard time getting rid of clothes. Does anybody else have trouble with that? Because, like, it's your favorite. Um, I did get rid of some stuff some clothes last week because it's like I don't need to be this big again um, but it's hard to get rid of the small clothes because you think you might be that small again right well I did and Linda's asking you're not in Facebook jail I am out of jail I have been out of jail since Tuesday morning um, it looks like I'm free and clear for the moment and Dina and I think that we have it figured out uh, we think that it had something to do with being in over 200 groups on Facebook. Facebook has a threshold of 200 groups. So we both went in and pulled ourselves out of a whole bunch of groups. Like somebody will put you in a LuLaRoe. Well, I don't know if LuLaRoe is still even doing its thing. Um, a Mary Kay group and a 31 Bags group and a this group and a that group. But, um, you know, you get put in those so you can see there's a party going on or whatever. Or people want you to buy stuff, which is fine. But people put, put us in groups we don't even know we're put in. So um, we pulled ourselves out of a whole bunch of these, like, dead groups. They're not operating anymore. And we got ourselves under 200, and I think we're good now. So we think maybe that was what was uh, bringing us up on the no fly list for lack of a better way to explain it we were put on a no fly list because we were in too many groups so um yes sandra that is why i have not responded to your emails because um i have been up north and we don't have internet service sometimes i can see the email it'll say a little blurb about what's coming in but i can't open it and answer it it doesn't let me and a lot of times when i go up north i'll go into town and sit at the parking lot at the grocery store for an hour answering emails while I'm away on the weekend but this weekend I just tuned out I just took the weekend off and and just decided to not do that at all because I was there with my mom and my daughter and I thought nope I need some family time so don't worry I will get back to you I never ignore emails sometimes I miss them I mean that that happens but I don't I don't ignore them so okay I wanted to show you guys the cards that were received this week um, my husband was very touched once again he received a card from Australia and he made sure he said I got a card from Australia so that was really cool and this is the cute card that came to him and this is from Megan and I think Megan he tore the envelope so I think it's Megan Corn Lacorno but this was the cool card for a get well card for Steve that she sent and I just love this stamp set it is so much fun so yeah, and Jen says, perfect time to disconnect, and it really was. It makes me a little twitchy, that's what I call it. I get a little twitchy because I know what I'm gonna come back to if I don't keep my head above water with emails and messages and text messages and all the things. But sometimes I just have to bite the bullet and go, nope, I can deal with it later, right? So, hi Raylene, I'm, I'm happy to see you on here. Hi Roger Smith, welcome. Um, the other card, whoops, hang on. The other card is from Kathy Lasowski. Yes, look at this beautiful card. Ah, oh, love this, right? And this card was from Kathy, and she says, thank you so much for the generous prize. It made her feel special. So, 
You are very welcome, Kathy. Thank you so much for participating. And we have one more card here. Now, I have to tell you guys this. Um, this is from Terry Sampson. And Terry is, I've met Terry through my Facebook Live online. Terry is a fellow demonstrator up in Minnesota. And she actually, look at the inside. She's got a little pocket here with her card in it. She actually invited me and my mom to stay in her log cabin the night before we leave for our trip to Kansas. And she will take us to the airport and pick us up when we get back. Stampers are the nice, pe the nicest people, just the nicest people. So um, I told her, I said, are you serious? Because I might take you up on that. And she said she was very serious. So I talked to Terry on the phone last week and she is she is hosting us, me and my mom, and um, I'm super excited. Yeah, and my sister's also coming with us, so Terry, I have to talk to you about that, but I think it'll be fine. <laughs> so those are the beautiful cards that I got this week. And then I wanted to share with you, if you just in case you missed it, this was a part of a blog hop that I did on Friday night, and this is called Color Block Stamping. And I actually used our acrylic blocks to stamp with the green, whoops, the green that's on here, the crushed curry that's over here and up here, and then also the Blackberry Bliss. Yeah, using the Come Together Suite again. I just can't get away from it. Here's another one, just a little different layout. I stamped some of the wheat images up here. I, I can't stop using this stamp set. Did I show you this one yet? No, this is a different one. I went crazy with it. Like when I get going on something, I just can't stop. And aren't these just beautiful? Yeah, and I just, real simple little stamp on the inside. That's, I think, oh, this one I put the leaf on. But all of these, so I made like a whole set of cards with this color block stamping. Yeah, pretty cool, right? I thought so. I love these fall colors. They're so rich and beautiful. Um, we were a little disappointed at the color when we were in northern Wisconsin. The leaves are starting to change, but they're not like in full color, which is what we're used to when we're up there. So it's like, oh. But it is what it is, right? We were there um, early. It was early season this time because we trade places with the bait sitters, and we got to go first this year, and then the bait sitters start later. Next year we'll be later, and we'll be able to see all that beautiful, beautiful fall color. Okay. Let's see, prizes, woo, who doesn't love prizes? Um, I have, and Claudia, I wish I knew how to say your last name, and I apologize that I don't, but Claudia Pigeon from Burton, Michigan is the winner for commenting on last week's Facebook Live, and Claudia is going to get this 2018-2020 In Color 6x6 Designer Series paper, yay! Congratulations, thank you to everybody who comments. Now make sure if you're new to me, oh yeah, they are Blackberry Bliss, aren't they? Somebody said they love my nails. Um, make sure that if you're on here, whether you're on here now, whether you're on here later after I'm done being live, or when you watch later on YouTube, make sure you're leaving a comment so you can get entered into these drawings. Then for sharing, you can share on YouTube and on Facebook, whether it's live or not. Judy Kruth of Crowley, Louisiana is going to get this beautiful tin tile 3D embossing folder. Judy, I know you're going to love this. And that is for sharing the um, Facebook Live. And then last but not least for all the orders received last week, Sandra Morin of Bakersfield, Bakersfield, California. Sandra, I know you're on here and you are getting this perfectly plaid stamp set. Now this has a matching punch to go with it and also a whole suite of products with designer series paper. Um, beautiful, beautiful suite. But of course you can use this exclusively. You do not have to get the rest of it if um, it's, it's not something that you wanna do. I don't know why you wouldn't. <laughs> Just saying, but it's, it's, it can be used exclusively without it. Um, the punch is really cool though, so. Congratulations to everybody. You guys are so sweet congratulating everyone. Thank you so much. Lots of congratulations, ladies. Congratulations, Judy and Sandra um, and um, Claudia. Don't forget about Claudia. Okay, I'm going to set these back here so I don't lose them in the chaos that is about to happen. 
Um, what did somebody just say that my voice and something else is matching? I don't know. I missed it. Your voice and video match on my phone, but not on my iPad. Isn't that odd? It's so weird when stuff like that happens. So the last thing that I wanted to show you here, I think it's the last thing before we flip. Paper pumpkin. Oh my gosh, I got my paper pumpkin last week and I really wanted to play with it, but I had too many other things to do. So I'll be playing with it this week. But this month's paper pumpkin is, let me see if I can get this right, all about Halloween. And look at the skeletons. I can't hardly wait to make some alternate ideas with this. And then what Stampin' Up! had in mind for us were these cute little treat things. And aren't these just sweet? I think I'm going to make these. Um, I don't know how many yet are in here. But does anybody know? Somebody else will know how many are in here. I might make these for Molly and have her take them to school with candy in them, right? Or I can hand them out to my own trick-or-treaters because I like to dress up on Halloween and hand out candy. Yeah. I have a Mike Wazowski costume that I made when Haley was like 12 or something, and I can wear it, and I love it. Also in here was a gorgeous grape ink spot. So I'll be doing alternate ideas with that um, this Thursday. We have a blog hop with the paper pumpkin alternate ideas. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about the Winter Wonders. This is going to be the October and I believe November. <clears throat> so this Christmas with a duo of coordinating special edition kits. October's kit includes 10 cards and envelopes. November's kit contains 24 tags with four different designs and each kit is all inclusive and can stand alone, but we think you'll want both this holiday season. So that's what's coming up with our paper pumpkin kits. And I love Love the paper pumpkin kits. Okay, Janet, somebody else might have said too, 20 boxes in here. That's awesome. That's a lot of boxes, right? And then don't you love the purple? Yeah, I love the purple. Okay, I have some real fun cards for you tonight. And um, I think we're ready to flip this around. So Susan said she's going to be making the paper pumpkin treat boxes for her granddaughter. That's awesome. Melanie says she loves Mike. I know. I love Monsters Incorporated. That's the movie that Mike Wazowski is from, in case some of you don't know. It's an older Disney Pixar movie. I don't know. But anyways, I loved that movie. And I made a costume that looks like I bought it at from a, a, a professional. Like, it's really cute. I had a great big giant green eyeball. <laughs> I think Haley has my costume, too. So, Haley Jade, if you are watching... If you're not going to wear that, which you probably are on Halloween, I would like to wear it to hand out candy. Just saying. <laughs> okay, you guys, we are ready to flip. Let me see. I'm going to, oh, I think what we're going to do first, I'm going to get out the stuff for the Designer Series paper bags, the bag and the matching card. That's what I'm going to do. So I'll get out of, get all of this stuff out. Now Michelle said she's watching from New Hampshire and she usually doesn't get to watch us live. Well, welcome. I'm so happy you could tune in. It's always exciting, right? Okay. Whoops. Let me get this flipped around. Now, I have to say that I'm feeling somewhat like a discombobulated mess this afternoon, evening. <laughs> I did remember to turn off my TV so you don't see my TV screen. In the I didn't get any window coverings yet. I haven't had time, and I don't anticipate I'll have time this week either with the um, kit to go needing to be packaged and out in the mail. But someday I'll get some window coverings. I don't like that like my neighbors can see in my window because you know it's night and the lights are on, so yeah, I need to do something about that. But anyways... Felt a little discombobulated this afternoon because what I wanted to make didn't come together quite right. And uh, so this is going to be cool. I know you're going to love it. I hope I can do it right. And if I don't, you guys are going to have to bear with me. <laughs> Ashley says she wishes she could come and help me with the kit to go. Don't worry. I have help coming tomorrow. Kathy Miller is my right hand woman, not man right-hand woman and um, a very good friend of mine. She's on my team. She was my very first recruit and she is coming to help me tomorrow and possibly Tuesday. We'll see how far we can get. Somebody asked earlier if I'm going to be using the big paper cutter that I bought and yes, 
um, it will be the first time that I use my giant paper cutter that can cut three packs of cardstock at once. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie, you guys. Okay, we're ready to flip the camera around. Yeah, Patty says it'll give my neighbors something to talk about. Yes, indeed it will. <laughs> okay, hang tight. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I will let you know when you can open them. Just in case I my nose, there was your view. No, I'm just kidding, but I did have my nose in there. All right, and I have to unmirror, so hang on. There we go. Are we straight here? Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. I kind of always like to have this set up straight because otherwise it looks pretty goofy, right? Okay. Once again, oh, how about right side up? <laughs> Once again, I am using the Come Together um, suite of products. And if you guys are getting sick of this, I'm not going to apologize because it is magnificent. And for those of you who already have it, and many, many of you do, here's another idea for you, which I love, right? When you have tons of ideas. Okay, oh, where's my, oh, hang on, I'm looking for my, I gotta find my written dimensions. Oh, you guys, oh, here they are. I'm like, oh my gosh, where did my dimensions go? But I found them, don't worry. All right, so um, Come Together is a whole suite of products. It includes this stamp set, the Gathered Leaves dies, the Designer Series paper, there is a ribbon combo pack, and also some wooden elements, which would have been a really good thing, hang on, for me to put on this project. I'm almost back. Yeah, so if any of you any of you missed it, this is my kit to go. Um, it's going to have a little baggie of all the goodies in it, two of all the cardstock cut, half a pack of the designer series paper, a pack of the wooden elements, and the combo ribbon pack is all included in this kit. So you'll have to watch for the one that's coming out in October if you'd like to get in on that. The cool thing about it is, is that I cut all the cardstock. What is glaring here? This is. I cut all the cardstock for you. Cut, punch. Um, the only thing I'm not die cutting is stuff that you're going to die cut with your own dies. But otherwise, any circles or ovals or scallops or anything that isn't included in this is also included in the card kit. So you'll have to watch for that in October. Okay. Let me get out my paper cutter. So, like I said, I'm a little nervous about this because I I feel like I didn't make enough of these to really be showing them to you. I like to do a lot of, um, well, not a lot, but like I always make up the card ahead of time just so that I feel like I know what I'm doing, right? And I didn't do that with these projects, so bear with me. And if we need to go through some more designer series paper, we certainly will. So the first thing I've got here, I've got two pieces of 12 by 12 designer series paper. And this happens to be from the Come To Gather designer series paper pack. And, oh, Debbie said she just got her stamp and die set. You are going to love it. Like, you've seen how many things I've made, right? Okay, so I'm going to take my paper. And one of these we're going to leave at 12 by 12. The other one we're gonna cut at eight by 12. So I'm gonna do that right now. We're gonna save this piece because we're gonna use it to make our card. I'm gonna set that aside. And now we're gonna do some scoring. And hang on, I'm gonna turn my fan on. This might get loud. Sometimes it's a little louder than I would like it to be, but I'm kind of getting really warm here. Okay, so on the eight by 12 inch piece, we're going to score at one inch on three sides. So hang tight. And you're going to do it with the short end up here. This would be the long end. This is just short end. We're going to score at one inch on all three sides. So here's one, two, Now, I want to tell you, 
if your paper has a definite pattern, like let's say you have bunny rabbits all over it and, and if you did it this way, they would be upside down. So if you have bunny rabbits all over your paper, you are going to want to put your paper with the bunny rabbits facing, you know, this way. You're gonna score on the top and both sides. I just wanna let you know that, because not all paper is um, random like this. I don't know what to call it. There's a better word, but I don't know what it is. It's not all random like this. So you would wanna score one inch here and on both sides and not on the bottom if you had a definite pattern that needed to be right side up. I guess that's a good way to say it. Okay, so we've done this. Now we're gonna bring this piece in and we are going to score at one inch on one side and three inches on the other three sides. And again, that one inch would be the top of your paper if you had like bunny rabbits on it that mattered which way. You don't want them to be upside down. And there we go. Okay, so three. three and three. So this piece, and I know you guys can't see this, is one inch here and then three, three, and three. All right. Next, what we're gonna do is bring in your scissors and we are going to, I'm gonna fold on these score lines first so that I can see the score lines because they're really hard to see on designer series paper. You want to make sure that you have good lighting going on wherever you're making this or stamping so that you can see. But if you fold them, it really helps you see them a little bit better. So I'm going to cut this right here. You're just going to cut up from the bottom. And I'm going to cut this one. Okay, we did that. Then this one inch edge right here, I'm gonna fold over like this. And here's where I'm gonna get my bone folder out. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that our edges are nice and crisp. And I've, I've got this one inch edge folded over up here. And then we're gonna do that here. Your bags boxes always go to Together better when you do the um, the burnishing with your bone folder. Okay, so this piece is ready to roll. Now we have the other piece, and here is our one inch edge, and I'm gonna fold it this way. Is that the way I did it on the other one? Yeah, <laughs> I wanna make sure that I'm doing it the same way. And, oh, hang on, let me think about this for a second. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Remember I told you to score at one inch, one inch, and one inch? You need to score the bottom of it at three. That's what I missed, and I apologize for that. So we're gonna take that, the edge that isn't scored yet and score it at three. I'm so sorry. So, let me show you this again now. We've scored this at one inch, and then this one is scored at one inch. Oops, hang on. There we go. This one is scored at one inch. So that's our three sides scored at one inch. See if I would have made a few more of these up, I would know this better. And then this one at three inches. Okay, so the bottom gets the three inches, the top and the both sides get the one inch. Everybody with me? Sorry about that. Okay, now you're gonna cut on these score lines at the bottom on that three inch. This is actually one of the easiest little bags boxes I have ever made. I was just really excited about that. All right, do you see what's happening here? Yeah, we're gonna put these two together. So I want this tab on this side to be on the inside versus on the outside of my bag because that's not really attractive, right? So we're gonna put it on the inside. So what we need to do here is you're gonna take tear and tape or liquid glue. I do not recommend tape runners for this part because 
It may stay together today, but when you come into your stamping area tomorrow, it's going to have fallen apart, most likely. So, either glue or tear and tape. And now I'm going to bring this up to this, and I'm going to put it right on here and get it even. And I kind of like the glue because you get the wiggle room, right? There we go. Now, I'm going to do the same thing over here, and then we're just going to fold it closed like this. So don't try to hold this up and glue stuff together. We've all been there and done that and now we know that we can just leave it lay flat when you have a box or a bag like this and it's so much easier to handle right so look at that and the only thing I'm going to do is pull this up and make sure that I'm squaring up the edges good so you can leave it lay right here are you with me guys look at how simple that is okay and here comes let me move these out of the way so you can see what's going on inside our box. So you've got these two flaps. You could cut them off if you wanted to, but I just think anything left in here gives you some extra strength. So I just leave them in there. I'm just going to put some glue in there and close these up. And then from the inside, we're going to do A little bit of gluing so I'm gonna put some glue on these tabs this is also going to make my bag box a little stronger and now I'm gonna put glue on this one and now we're gonna close it and you have to you might have to move it a little bit to square it up there we go push that down in there look at that is that not amazing very very cool Okay, if you're getting a headache because it's getting fuzzy and then it's not getting fuzzy, I, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. You might want to come back later. Um, I'm really sorry. I don't know what to say. There's nothing I can do about that. So here's our bag box. Now, we could put holes in the side and put a ribbon on here so you have a handle. You could use strips of paper for your handle. You could not have a handle at all and just put a bunch of tissue paper in it. Um, coming out the top would be really pretty. This box is big enough. You could put a t-shirt in here. You could put some rather large items in here. And then, hang on, because this piece is going to go on the, whoops, the front of our box. And I'm, this piece is crumb cake, and it is two and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to push the um, classic label punch all the way in, and I'm going to punch it, and then move it over, and punch it again, and move it over. Let's see, I wanna kinda make it even from both ends here. Okay. We'll see if that's going to be big enough. Hang on. Nope, I need it to be just a little bit bigger. I should get my ruler. Whoops. Push it in from the same side here. And if you push it all the way in, it'll punch perfectly straight all the way across. So here's what I'm going to tell you. I would push your edge right here all the way into the punch and do the same thing on the other side. So I need to punch just a little bit more here. Does that make sense? So the punch is going to be, the paper is going to be all the way in the punch to this side, and then all the way in the punch to that side, and you push it all the way in. Okay, now what I'm going to do with this is I'm just grabbing some tear and tape because I don't want this to come off. Hang on just a second. I gotta look at something because I didn't actually. Yeah, okay. We're going to take our tear and tape and put it on the top part, the bigger part of our crumb cake layer. Oops, I made it just a little bit too long. There we go. Get rid of that. And I think I'm going to put two pieces on because I don't want this part to fall off. Not that it will, but it'll just be a little more stable. Then I've got my old 
old pokey tool here to help me get that tear and tape backing off. And I'm going to pull this right up here. Now I'm going to stand up so I can center it on here. I don't want it to be crooked or not centered. There we go. Okay, now this is where your card is going to go. So you don't want any tear and tape under this bottom piece here because your card is going to slide right in here. And I'll show you that in just a second. Um, whoops, hang on, my tear and tape has got a mind of its own here. Let me get this wrapped back up. I have some of the Come Together ribbon, and I think I measured this, it's about 38 inches. And I'm going to take this and get it even here so I can tie a nice bow. Then I'm going to put a few mini glue dots on it. And you can do this or not do this. It's completely up to you, but I like when my ribbon stays in place a little bit better. I don't like it sliding around, and mini glue dots are just a really good way to make that happen. So I've got mini glue dots on there. I'm going to go from the back. Let's see, I need to look at that again. Okay, from the back to the front. I'm just going to go kind of a little bit underneath this fold line, the one inch fold line. So that really helps hold your ribbon in place. That's just a good thing to do. Otherwise, you'll be struggling with it, and I hate struggling with it. All right, and I'm going to see if I can tie a good bow here. It's tricky with all you guys watching me. Oh my goodness, that looks pretty darn nice. And that right there, you guys, is why they pay me the big bucks. <laughs> and of course, you know, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, that looks great. Um, now it's a little bit off center, but now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take another glue dot. Hang on, let me get these open. I'm going to pick it up with my pokey tool. I'm going to put it right behind my bow. And I'm going to stick that on there. Oh, it's stuck to my finger over here. Did you see that? I thought I was sticking it to it, but I wasn't. Let's try that again. I'm going to put that right there. See it down there? And then that's going to keep my bow in place. Oh, my goodness. What do you think? Hang tight. <clears throat> Because this piece that we left, remember we cut that first piece of 12 by 12 paper down to 8 by 12? Now we're going to take this one and we are going to cut off an inch and a half. I'm going to cut off an inch and a half. And now this is 12 by 10 and a half. Would that be right? 11. And, yeah. <laughs> Math is hard. Don't forget that. So we've got this. Of course, I'm going to save this for something else because it's really hard to throw away designer series paper. And now we have a crumb cake, mint macaron, and pretty peacock scraps. And I'm going to bring out my dies here. Who absolutely loves these embossing cutting dies that are in this set? Like, I can't stop using them. So I'm going to cut out one of each of these on the various colors of cardstock here. Hang on. And, of course, you know that I've already done that ahead of time. Because I don't like you guys sitting around waiting for me to do stuff like that. Um, okay. So there we go. We've got those three. Then, let me put these away so I don't lose them because you know that I've done that before. <laughs> oh, you know what I found? What did I find? Oh, um, I have these clipboards. They're just clipboards, and I put them, I, I keep ideas on them or lists of people coming. On the back of my clipboard, I found a thank you stamp that had stuck to it, and it's been there for I don't even know how long. So... I'm trying to be better about putting everything away so that I don't lose things, right? Because that is just maddening when that happens. All right. So, um, let me think about this for a second. I have all my pieces here now. I don't need these anymore because I already cut out my leaves. I got that. 
here's my inside layer. Oh, here we go. Uh, this was a scrap. I was wondering, what is that for? Yeah, and funny thing, you guys, this is the one that I just like put together before I came on live. So it's not like I have any excuse about why I can't remember what I'm doing. But we are going to stamp using Pretty Peacock and Mint Macaron. The greeting, Pretty Peacock. Oh, you know what? Well, this is kind of dumb, but I'll do it anyways. <laughs> Not the first time I've done something dumb. And then I love to put that little weed in there and I stamped it off once with the Mint Mac Ron. Then we're going to die cut this with the stitched um, shapes oval, okay? And so now I'm gonna have to show you it again because I kinda did it backwards. So here we go with Pretty Peacock, Mint Mac Ron, which is one of the colors in the Come Together paper, and I just stamped it off once. That's what we call second generation stamping because you already put the first generation of ink here, now you're doing the second generation here. Then we're going to use our layering oval scallop and put a background behind this with Pretty Peacock because it's gorgeous, and why wouldn't you, right? So here we go. All right, so we have some elements here. This is what I didn't do yet. Remember we cut an inch and a half off of this piece. So I am going to use this for the inside. You can choose whichever side you would like. Look, I have ink on my fingers right there. Hang on. And of course, then my baby wipes don't wanna cooperate because I'm getting gobs of them out at once. If you guys ever have that, it's like Murphy's Law. Like, you just want one baby wipe, but because you're um, doing a Facebook Live, eight of them come out. <laughs> okay, no big deal. All right, so we're going to just fold this piece in half and burnish that edge good. And I'm gonna use this for the back where I got the ink on it because we know how to fix things like that, right? <laughs> we certainly do. And then... Let's see, I think I am going to use one of these wooden elements because that's going to be really pretty. All right, here's our Whisper White layer. Now this is three and three quarters by five. This layer is four and a quarter by five and a half and this is Mint Macron. I'm going to stamp my wheat image, just something simple right here. And we're going to add this to the inside of the card. Okay, isn't that cool with the designer series paper in there? Now we're going to take this and where my ink smudge is on there. Whoops, 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 hang on. I'll tear it away with my glue. This is gonna fit on here. That's gonna be the back of your card. Okay. And then I just decided that I kind of wanted to do some um, little neat things with this. And hang on, I've got my adhesive eraser because I think I got some glue on here. I did, look at that. Hmm. Cause I must have it on my fingers. <laughs> Cause I'm a mess as usual. <laughs> okay, so dimensionals right here. And yep, and yep. This is the part I haven't done yet, you guys. So are you with me so far? Is everybody with me? Yeah, you guys, so sorry. Um, if it's still getting blurry and then not blurry, that's, that's, I can't do anything about it. It's Facebook Live and sometimes that just happens and I'm really sorry. Now I'm gonna take one of these wood leaf elements and I am going to color it. Now, you may want to use some tweezers. Let me grab a tissue here. I'm gonna grab a tissue and I'm going to wipe the ink off. And you saw me just stick that right in the ink pad and now I'm polishing the ink off, okay? What do you think? Isn't that pretty? 
Yeah, I love doing that. These wood elements, you can do that with any of them. So in this pack, you get a whole bunch of them, but you get these feathers and then these feathers and then all of these log slices. And yeah, isn't this cool? You can use the front or the back, doesn't matter. Very, very cool. You've seen me stamp on these logs and emboss. That's really neat. So these are called tags and feather wooden, oh, tags and feathers elements. I thought they were called wooden, but they're not. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is slide this right in here. Oh, thank you guys for the love. I see all the, the hearts and the thumbs up coming through. I really appreciate it. Um, now I'm using, whoops, oh, it's sticking to my table. I'm using mini glue dots to glue these down. Hang on, this is giving me a hard time. There we go. And I think what I'm gonna do here is take this one and this, maybe this one over here, this one over here, and this, well, I want this to be tilted a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do that right there. And add some glue here. Tuck that under, push that down. Maybe I'll add a dimensional to this one because I love dimensionals. Who doesn't love dimension on a card, right? Oh, I'm gonna bring that up over the feather a little bit. And then this last one, I am going to tuck right down here. <gasps> Look at that! Do you guys love it? It's a really cool card, right? And then our inside, we have lots of room to write. And now let me bring in my bag because this is going to slide right in here. Oops, get my ribbon out of the way. Just like that. Oh, this is a little low, you guys. Look at that. See, that's what I get for not doing this ahead of time. I'm going to have to fix this, and I'll probably fix it before I do the pictures. But I think what I would do is this was two and a quarter. After I get this punched out, I would cut this off. And I think maybe I was supposed to do that and I forgot. So I'll fix it so that our card isn't hanging below our bag and it'll look more like this, okay? Yeah, look at how big that is. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about the bag. You can get six bags and the card part out of a pack of designer series paper. So I want you to think about the one you can buy three and get one free if you would like to get some new designer series paper. But this is the time where you get $11.50 worth of paper free, right? But you can get six gift bags and a card like this out of a pack of designer series paper for less than, let's say, $2.00. Where can you go where you can get a beautiful card like this and a matching gift bag for under $2? Yeah, no place I know. Now I know you can go to the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store, but their cards don't look like this, so that doesn't count at all. So I want you to think about that um, when you're thinking about, oh, that's a lot of designer series paper to use. Yeah, less than $2 for a matching card and a bag. Could you see doing this for your hostess at Thanksgiving if you're going someplace? Um, can you see doing this? I, I can see myself bringing my aunt when I go to Kansas a gift in here. Maybe some, some goodies from Wisconsin. Like we're known for cheese curds and, and all kinds of Wisconsin goodies. I could put some shred in here and throw some cheese curds in there and give this to my aunt for letting us stay at her house, right? So super, super cool. Yeah, and um, you're going to see some more of these coming from me because I really wanted to have several of these made up for you tonight, and it just didn't work out that way because I needed to get a little rest. <laughs> I wanted to be fresh for you guys tonight, not like all worn out and tired, and I am rather perky. So, um, yeah, cool, right? Okay, I'm going to get some of this stuff cleaned up because I have a really super cute fun fold Christmas card to share with you, and it's not too early to be doing Christmas as stampers, right? Hang on, let me get my basket back in here and put all this stuff away. 
Now, remember that I will have all of the dimensions and still photos. Here's my blog right here, www.astampabove.com. I will have all of the dimensions, still photos, so you can really see this on my blog. Probably, I probably won't get it done tonight, but I will have it there tomorrow, just so you guys know. Um, yeah, so then you can see this stuff. It's not going to be blurry, I promise. I take, I take pretty good photos most of the time. Okay. I have to make sure I keep all this stuff handy. I have stamp clubs tomorrow night and Tuesday night, so we're going to be making cards with this. All right. Next. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, who doesn't love this? Oh, my gosh. The Let It Snow is just the cutest stinking little thing ever. And I'm going to... We're going to use the punch tonight. Yeah, all my good stuff. I actually made this card as a card for my bundle swap. I do a bundle swap every month, and this was the bundle that we chose for the month of September. Oh, and I've got dimensionals. And I've also got um, the Stampin' or Ice Stampin' Glitter. And the shimmery crystal effects. So we're going to play with those a little bit. Get this out of the way. Hang on, things are piling up. I don't want you guys to hear a big crump where everything falls on the floor. Okay. Card stock. Here we go. We're going to use real red. Does anybody have any questions that I missed? Because I don't have my laptop sitting right out here where I can see it. And, oh, my Lord, it's so hard to try and keep track of all that. <laughs> I'm not very good at that part. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whisper White. This is the piece of designer series paper that I'm using. This is the Let It Snow designer series paper, and I'm using this one. So on the back are these cute little trees. Now, it never fails. Somebody asks me, they want this sheet of the designer series paper because they're also a demonstrator. This is nothing more than a piece of white cardstock where you type up the name of the designer series paper and the coordinating colors and print it out. And then you do two by two inch pieces of each designer series paper and one inch circles of the color, the coordinating colors. Nobody makes this for me. I make it myself. And um, I've had lots of people inquiring and asking me to make it for them. Nope, not going to do it. I like to stamp. I don't do this kind of stuff. So just so you know, you can make one of your own, though. You're more than welcome to do that. All right, then I've got um, a scrap of soft suede, scraps of white, and these two white pieces. This one is three and a quarter by five and a half. This one is three by five and a half. Okay, and this red piece is seven and a half by five and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. So we're gonna go ahead and burnish that edge. <clears throat> Excuse me. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have my, <clears throat> excuse me, strawberry lemonade. That's part of my Optavia program. And my coach, Bev, was kind of yelling at me last week, Kelly, drink more water. So while I was up in northern Wisconsin hunting, um, I just want Bev to know that every time I opened up a bottle of water to make my strawberry lemonade, I had to drink like about an ounce and a half off the top, then pour my packet in, otherwise it gets too watery. So I had water, and I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face, because <laughs> that's so ridiculous. <laughs> but that was the water I had. Bev, so it was an improvement over last week. Okay, um, I am going to bring out a stitched shape circle and my real red ink. Oh boy, hang on. I have the stamp set in two different cases. I forgot about that. And the Let It Snow stamp is what I'm going to put on here. This is going to be my little greeting. Isn't that cute? Okay, then we're going to take this beautiful 
curly ribbon. I really like this. I like it because it frays at the end and you can do some pretty cool things with it. But look how curly it is. So here we go. What's okay? So we've got vodka and diet cher cherry Pepsi. You go, Debbie. Cranberry wine for Kathy. And who somebody just said Japanese rice wine. That sounds good, Jen. Good for you. I think my husband's outside in the garage with a beer. Or he likes to drink, um, what does he drink? I can't even think of it. It's some whiskey. Some type of whiskey. Um, Kessler's. Kessler and Diet Pepsi. That's also his drink. Okay, so isn't that a cute little bow? I'm going to grab my mini glue dots here. And we are going to mini glue dot this. little bow right up here just like that now if you want to you can cut it just a little bit shorter here and you can unwind this yeah and it's really really foofy it's like um, Haley's hair when it gets humid out <laughs> Haley has super curly hair and so when it gets really humid it does that <laughs> I don't think she's still watching, but she would get a kick out of that because <laughs> it's a true story. Yeah. By the way, Haley and Jared just got their wedding pictures back, and I will be showing them to you as soon as I get to see them because I haven't yet. But Haley said she was a little disappointed. It rained on her wedding day, and she said her hair looks kind of crappy, and oh, I felt bad for her. She said there were some good pictures, but for the most part, she was kind of, whoops, <laughs> don't put your dimensionals on the back of this part because I'm yakking and not thinking. Oh, hang on. We're going to put some glue on here and add this to our scallop circle. Real red scallop circle. Now we're going to put dimensionals on. And we'll see if these actually stick. No, they're not going to. So hang on. I tried. I tried to be frugal. Just let it go, right? <laughs> let it go, Kelly. Oh, yeah, what's an Italian margarita? I need to know about that. I like margaritas. I'm not big on wine, but I know a lot of people love it. And my mom's a big wine drinker. I shouldn't say that. She's not a big wine drinker, but she likes her wine. Okay, this is the three and a quarter by five and a half inch piece. And we're going to grab our balmy blue ink and the snowflakes that come in the snowman season stamp set. So we're gonna stamp these around on the background and we're gonna stamp off once for that second generation again. Let's see how quick I can do this without messing up and forgetting to stamp off. <laughs> I think I did pretty good, what do you guys think? Yay! Okay. Next, we're going to take that scrap of Whisper White. Oh, I know what I want to do right away. So I got this shimmery crystal effects. Now you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. But one thing that I like to do is use it for snow. And I'm just making some scribble marks down here. We'll see how well this turns out. And there was a piece of paper somewhere. It's right here gonna get my ink pads out of the way I'm gonna bring out this ice stamp and glitter look at how pretty that is and this will make my snow it'll stick to that oh look at that cool right we're gonna get this back in here this is like um chunky it's like chunky glitter kind of it's not real chunky because it still sticks to that really good so we're gonna do that. We're gonna set that aside for a little bit here. I wanna make sure I didn't take off the backing off my dimensionals. Now we're gonna do a little stamping with the snowman and the punch. So here comes our snowman. He is so adorable. And then I've got my Stampin' Right marker here in pumpkin pie. Oh, I don't think I even needed to do that. But if you need to, you can do that. We're gonna do something else. Let me get this closed. Here comes the punch. 
I am going to punch out my snowman. Here's our little guy. Isn't he cute? And then dimensionals. Did you guys see him? Oh, here they are. I'm going to put some dimensionals on here. I'm going to put a couple dimensionals on him because he's kind of a big layer, right? Then I've got my soft suede. Well, I don't know if I want to use that. Hang on. Let me look, take a look in here. Yeah, I think I want to use that. Here's my soft suede. And I'm going to punch out a couple snowman arms right there. Now, I'm going to glue those on the back of my snowman. I've got another snowman that I've already made that I will show you also. I'm just going to do this little guy a tad bit different. Okay, there's an arm. And I'm putting a dot of glue on the front of my snowman arms. Just a little dot, just like that. You want to make sure you get them out there as long as you possibly can. Okay, so there's, there's our little snowman guy. Now I'm going to bring, oops, bring this bigger white layer in. And I'm going to put my snowman on it. Here he comes. Then I'm going to get out my snowman embellishment kit. And this is part of the suite. Let me see if I can find it quick got the gather together on a constantly open on here looking at stuff. Here we go. This is the Let It Snow Embellishment Kit. And I showed this to you guys the other day. I am going to take one of these little snowman noses and I am going to put that on my snowman. Now I want to make sure that I don't cover up an eyeball. But it kind of will fit right in between his eyes and his mouth. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Okay, then I'm going to grab some of these felt embellishments. And this is a scarf. So, let's see. I'm going to put this... Um, Hang on a second. Here, I want one of these with the little edge that goes like this. Okay. Again, we're going to use mini glue dots. I'm going to put a mini glue dot right there. You could also try to get these on the felt, but I find it's easier to put them on your um, cardstock. So here's our little scarf. Then we've got some mittens. There's lots of little mittens in here. And I'm going to take, again, mini glue dots. These are fun, fun little cards to make. I'm going to put a mini glue dot on my snowman hand. Maybe. There we go. And another one on this hand. There we go. And here comes our mittens. Aren't those cute? And then we need a hat. And here's one of our hats. There's a little stocking cap also made out of felt. And I'm going to add that with a mini glue dot to my snowman's head. I think also what I'm going to do is put a dimensional, I'm going to put a mini dimensional behind the hat to kind of help because it's it, it's not got a lot of head under it. <laughs> I don't know if that was the right thing to say, but oh my lord. Okay, there we go. All right, isn't that cute? What do you guys think? Super, super adorable. Here comes our card. Now, most cards open like this. But this card is going to open opposite. So I'm going to bring this in here. And I'm going to add my white layer. I'm going to leave a little bit of red on the left. And, oh, nope, I'm not. Oh, this looks like it might be the wrong piece. 
It is. Hang on, this needs to be three inches. Hang on. Where'd my paper cutter go? Um, I'm going to take, I already put glue on this, right? So I should have looked at it first, but I didn't. So I'm just going to cover up my glue with a piece of typing weight paper here, and I'm going to cut it off at three inches. Hang on, that's not going to work. Here we go. This is how we fix mistakes. I seem to be doing well with them tonight. <laughs> okay. Put this down here and cut it at three inches. There we go. All right, more glue. And I'm gonna have to cut another piece of white for the inside because I use the inside. The inside layer gets the bigger one, you guys, sorry. There we go, okay. And now we're going to take the Let It Snow here, and we're going to get a new dimensional because Kelly messed that up too. Put your dimensionals over on the back side of the right side of your Let It Snow. And we're going to add that right here so it's kind of hanging off. Then that little piece of designer series paper is going to go on the inside. Hang on, i got to get another white piece. And we'll cut that at five and a half by three and a quarter. Got to roll with it, right? Absolutely. I know, Debbie says she loves the hat and mittens and the scarf. I do too. They are super, super cute. Okay, now on the inside of our card, um, I've got garden green here. And I'm going to use the sentiment that comes with the stamp set. And I'm going to put that right here. That turned out great. And then that's garden green. This is Merry Christmas in real red. And I'm going to add that right here. Yep, that turned out great. And then, hmm, I think if you want to, nope, I think what I'm going to do is some snowflakes. So I've got that balmy blue still out here, and I'll just carry those snowflakes to the inside of my card. Now, this goes all the way to the fold line. And I like to kind of hold it up like this and push it in there. To make sure that I'm getting it all the way over there and I also want to make sure that my card is going to close properly right so you want to watch for that and then this one inch by five and a half inch strip of designer series paper goes right here just like that what do you guys think is that not just the cutest? Thank you so much. Thanks, you guys, for your patience, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love this. Now, I've got another one here. And this one, I stamped the hat. And there's a punch on here for the hat. There's also a punch on here for the snowman nose, if you can see that. Same card. Just did the snowman a little different. And then, let's show you some more things. Remember this? This was a gatefold. This is the designer series paper. Yeah, we have this one with the, whoops, with the little belly band. And this one just uses different designer series paper. So this is the hats and the holly, and then this is just the snowflakes. 
and I use the puff paint on here. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera. Oh, and I had it upside down. <laughs> but another super cute little project. Oops. Hang on. There we go. And let me look at something on my blog. Um, la, 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 la. Hang on just a second. I am going to see if I've already shown you another little item using this Let It Snow suite of products. I don't think I did yet, so I'm going to save that. I'll, I've will got another little treat thing for you, and I'll save that for the future. Oh, wait, maybe I did it here. Did I did it? Here? Nope, I didn't. Okay, so here's our little Let It Snow cards. I'm just going to lay these out here so you can see them. Now, if you guys asked me questions and I missed your question, please ask it again. I do tend to go through the comments. But what do you guys think of this stamp set? This whole suite of products is just so stinking adorable. How many of you have this already? I am a sucker for a good snowman set. And of course, having a stamp set, designer series paper, a matching punch is just so much fun, right? Yeah. All right, and then, let's see, where did our, here's our gift bag. Let me see, how much are we getting in the screen here? Watch me just go like that. <laughs> I'm just going to shove everything off my desk. There we go. Get rid of all these things on my desk. Here comes in our gift bag, too. All right, you guys, if you would like to place an order, I'm going to fix this, too, so make sure you cut this down so that you're, um, card isn't hanging off the bottom of your bag. I'll I'll reflect that in my dimensions. I'll say that you need to then cut this because I think I was probably supposed to do that and I forgot. Anyways, if you need to place any orders, you can head right over to my blog, www.astampabove.com. This is my current monthly host code. This has changed during the month of October, um, September. I'm sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Um, and there's always going to be the current code right in the right-hand column of my blog, so you can just always find it there. I always appreciate your orders, you guys. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Share my video. That really helps me out, whether you're watching live right now on Facebook or whether you're watching later on Facebook or whether you're watching on YouTube. I certainly do appreciate it. I think I just hit 18,000 subscribers recently on YouTube, and that is super, super exciting for me. This is my full-time job and how I pay my bills, and um, having all those subscribers is an amazing feeling. I love it. Make sure you're, if you're watching later on YouTube, you click down in the bottom right hand corner. That's going to subscribe you to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. And I'm going to look here. Oh, Jean says she would love a gnome suite. She's into gnomes. Well, that would be adorable, wouldn't it? Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you for um, joining me for a great evening. And thanks for putting up with my... I felt a little discombobulated, but that's what happens when you're gone and you have to kind of jump right back in. <laughs> we'll get through it together, right? That's what friends are for. <laughs> I always appreciate that. Okay. Um, I don't see any other comments, any questions that I missed. I'm happy to answer them. This week I have a blog hub coming up on Thursday with the Paper Pumpkin design team. Let me take a look at my schedule here because I, I really just ran right in here. Well, remember I told you I took that little nap, which was really necessary. Get my battery recharged. Uh, yeah, oh. Okay, so I have Stamp Club Monday and Tuesday night. I have Paper Pumpkin on Thursday morning. And for those of you, some of you um, get that a little confused. That's just something that shows up on my blog. It posts at 6.30 in the morning. And it's not like a live class like this. But it will have a video tutorial showing you how to make things. And then on Friday is my Totally Techniques Design Team blog hop. And that's really fun because that's with demonstrators from all over the world. There's like, 
I don't know, six or eight of us that are in this vlog hop, and I don't even know what our technique is, so I better figure that out too, right? Got a busy week coming up and a wedding to go to next Saturday. So I hope you guys can join me again next Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. You will always find me on my Facebook page, a stamp above dash your creative coach. Head over there, click on the like, and then click on following, and then I'll pop up in your news feed as you're um, on your phone. It'll pop up and say, Kelly Atchison is live right now, so you won't miss me. Another thing that I like to do so I don't miss Facebook Lives of the people that I choose to follow, I put an alarm on my phone under the clock. And it's like, oh, I put an alarm there for my own Facebook Lives so that I know I've got five minutes and I need to be live. But I put that in my clock so that I don't forget. Um, or miss my start time, or miss other things, right? I put it in there just like doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, which reminds me. For those of you that were worried about me because I had that tooth that they told me I had to have pulled and get an implant, and I said, well, it's not, it's fine now. I'm not having any trouble with it. You all said, get it done. I'm getting it done in October, so don't worry. I know I rescheduled, I canceled it because Steve was having knee surgery that week and I just couldn't deal with all of it, but I have to get like a major molar pulled and have an implant put in. Oh, so expensive, horribly expensive. Oh, just ridiculous. But hey, dentists are important too, right? I know, I know. So anyways, thanks for... Thanks for pushing me to not ignore that and go, well, it's fine now. I guess teeth don't work that way. It's got a crack in it. And so even though it's not hurting me right now, um, it will not, like, heal. It needs to be taken care of. So, yeah. <laughs> Did you like that? Sound effects, too. I give you sound effects, too. All right, you guys, have yourselves a wonderful week. Um, I will see you back here on Facebook Live, 7 p.m. Central Time on Sunday, September 29th. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.